Hi, welcome to Measure Marketer. My name is Prashant. In this video, I will be talking about how to use advanced filters in Google Analytics. Filters are one of the most important things in analytics because that will allow you to process only that data that you want. For example, if ever you wanted to stop bot traffic or you wanted to stop spam traffic from entering into analytics and spoil your entire data, there you go. You have filters at your rescue. But what if I tell you there are certain filters which majority of the analytics people or working on analytics don't even use. A lot of people use filters, they simply go and use include, exclude and uh, search and replace and uppercase and lowercase. But what if I tell you there's also another option called advanced there. I had one of my client ask me this question. Prashant, I wanted to exclude certain set of traffic that's flowing into analytics and the conditions he gave me are these. He wanted to exclude traffic that's coming from Chrome browser. He does not want to exclude everybody who's coming from Chrome browser, but he gave me other two conditions. The first one being he wanted to exclude people coming from Chrome browser with a specific version and specific devices, sizes. So only those people who match all these three, three conditions should be excluded from flowing into analytics. But if you go to filters in analytics, you cannot add one filter that applies and conditions to all three conditions. Reason being all three are three different, uh, you know, names. The first one being a browser. If you want to apply a filter, then you have to create one filter for browser. Then you have to create one other filter for size, another filter for version. And that practically doesn't work because you end up excluding all the traffic that's coming from uh, Chrome browser. But what if I tell you there is a certain way to exclude only the set of traffic that meets all these three conditions. All and more in this video. Right. So if you log into your analytics account and go to the audience report, in that you'll have something called technology. Once you go to technology and click on browser OS, you come here. You see all the data that's coming from different browsers. But remember I told you, my client had asked me that he wanted to exclude all the traffic coming from Chrome. Though not all the users coming from Chrome, but a condition that adds on top of Chrome, which is Chrome users. And that too from a particular version and not just people coming from Chrome and that particular version. No, people coming from Chrome version and also a particular browser size. So let me show you uh, uh, something called um, size. If I add a secondary dimension, which is browser size to this particular table here, you see all the data, you see all of them. So what if I want to only exclude this particular traffic? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put a filter here, right? Now, if I'm, I'm showing this because if you simply go and put this to exclude, Oh, sorry, I directly added no, it's a secondary dimension, so probably I have to go here and then apply browser size because when I add a filter here directly, it will try and look for this particular table. And then apply now. What it is going to do is it's only going to get the data only for that particular browser size. Now, imagine if I were to exclude this, it will end up excluding all the traffic that's coming from Safari, Chrome, Android, and Edge, and Firefox. But the client does not want to exclude all the traffic coming from this particular size. He wants to exclude the traffic coming from this particular size and this particular browser. Not just this, there's a third condition. And third condition is he says version. You see, there's something called browser version. So he wanted to exclude only this particular version. So imagine if I were to go here and add a secondary dimension and, uh, and, and create a filter based on that. Let's see what happens. It's only one browser, but what happens is it will end up excluding all the traffic that's coming from Android web view as well. But the client says, no, I want to exclude only this particular version, that particular browser and that too for a particular size. So how do you apply a filter? If ever you wanted to apply a filter, then probably you'll have to go to admin section. And remember in the GA3, the filters are always applied in the view part. So you go to filters here and these are the basic stuff that you will find. You go to filters. Right, you create a filter. There are two types: predefined and custom. If you go to predefined, simply ask it to include and exclude, and only the IP address and the uh, the subdirectories and the host name. Right, but generally we go to custom, and when we go to custom, you you generally go and exclude. Prashant, I want to exclude. So if I say, hey, I want to exclude browser. You see, if I want to exclude browser, 
and, and, and type in Chrome, it will end up excluding all the traffic that's coming from Chrome. But that is not the case here. But Prashant, I have to apply a condition that fits in all three conditions that the client gave me. So that is not practically possible here. So what am I going to do? You might think I might come up with three filters. The first filter being the Chrome. But the problem when you create three filters is system or Google Analytics always follows the water model, waterfall model approach. First, it applies the filter. The moment it applies a filter called Chrome, it ends up deleting all the traffic that's coming from Chrome. Getting me right, irrespective of whatever browser size, whatever version. So imagine you go the reverse way. Maybe you want to apply by saying, hey, I want to apply uh, a filter to exclude only the size. It ends up excluding that particular size, that particular size, whatever size, right? Imagine 1650 cross whatever. I'm just, I'm, I'm just giving you one standard example, right? It ends up excluding all the traffic that's coming from here. So how do you write one filter that makes sure that takes all the three conditions and still finds a way to exclude all of them. That is where we talk about something called advanced filter. Now, when you come to advanced, remember there's something called field A, field B and output. Why the word extract is there is because it uses something sort of JavaScript. If you work with JavaScript, there's something called regular expressions. In regular expressions, you have a method called execute method. When you try to uh, write a regular expression that tries to find a match in a particular string, it tries to find all the matches and puts them into an array. When it tries to put all of them into an array and you want to get the first one, you put the array of one because it returns all of them into an array. So for people who don't know about regular expressions, you can go watch some of my videos on YouTube about regular expressions. So let me come back here. So you come here, then this is how it starts. You go to custom. In the custom, you go to something called advanced. In advanced, it asks you to select field A, field B and output. So you see how I'm going to do that. So here I'm going to enter something called browser. Right? For people who understand regular expressions, they might understand what I'm talking about. It tries to find a match, everything that, that comes in this particular dimension, whether it be Chrome or Firefox, but I'm trying to match all of them. Extract, right? And field B, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give something called size, or maybe uh, let me give something called version, the browser version. And my client wants to exclude only one particular uh, version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the same thing. So if you see here, it is browser and then the browser version and both of them, I'm trying to put them to a custom field. So analytics in advanced options, you have something called custom field. So I'm trying to input uh, the browser and the browser version and give certain output to it. And I'm selecting custom field one here. I'm selecting an option called dollar a one space dollar B one. So what this does is what this does is the first match of this field A will come in sit here. The first match of field B will come in sit here. This is regular expressions. We use dollar regular expressions and then I save it. I give the name as filter one. Let's imagine I'm giving this name as filter one. Right? So I'm not trying to filter anything. I'm simply writing one advanced. The filter condition where to exclude will come in the third part. So for now, I'm simply trying to get all the data that I need, the browser. I'm putting them into a regular expression. I try to match all of them, match all of them. But here I'm trying to only get the first part, $A1, $B1, and then I say save. And second thing is I go and create another filter and I give the name as filter2. And I go to custom again, go to what one, same thing. And here in the field A, I will give something as size. The same thing I'm going to do here. Right. And field B, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the same custom field. Remember in the custom field one, we already supplied or passed some data into it. I'm trying to write this so it will match everything which is in custom field one. And then output to same custom field. Output to same some field one. So now what I'm going to write here is dollar a one space dollar b one. Right. So now what it does is it takes the value which we passed into custom field one and matches all of them 
which is assigned to field B here and then I am rewriting that output to field 1 which takes $A1 which is this value and then B1 which takes the value that we passed it to field B right and I will save it like this or you can give field B is required I missed that part you can go and check that and now finally we come and create a third filter F-I-L-T-E-R filter 3 and we come to custom and simply exclude in this exclude what I'm trying to do is I'm choosing custom field 1 and I will write that entire condition the first one being what we chose we chose something called as a browser no we chose uh, 1350 this is what the, the the client wanted to exclude right into 770 I can simply write that or he gave me two conditions he gave me two uh, two sizes so I'm going to put an R and and then I'm going to write another size which the developer gave me and developer told me that this is the traffic that is chrome and then I will give the version the version that he gave me is 91.0.4472.114 I simply write exclude save right when I do that it will exclude that particular size that particular browser and that particular uh, version and uh, you know this is how you can apply but remember all the filters that have applied here are applied by GA in a waterfall model they apply from here here these two filters don't make any changes they simply extract the data and assign the data to custom field 1 and then using the custom field 1 and field B taking the output to field 1 and fixing it I hope you have learned something from this video and we post many exciting videos we put some amazing content on YouTube do subscribe to our channel and also check our measure marketers uh, measurement bootcamp it's a program for experienced marketers you know we have ton and ton of people from across the world experienced digital marketers come into our program to learn something very very special if you are one such candidate we would be excited to talk to you and know your interest and know what you want to learn and really help you in your journey of upskilling in the world of digital marketing Thank you so much and I would see you in the next video with something more interesting. Thank you.